Konnichiwa, namaste you lot. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for what I believe is episode 47 of our Bahrain McLaren career mode episode that will mark the start of our Tour de France, a uh, modified Tour de France with bare variants in it. We'll start with a stage between Berlin and Schoppenstedt in Germany with uh, a, a decent hill before the end. Um, then we'll move to stage two, which is a team time trial between Hanover and Hanover. We'll then have a stage that should not be Quebec, Quebec. I'll have to fix that. Give me a second. Uh, but don't you worry. We'll then have a cobbled stage? A cobbled stage between Heinsberg and Gradsbergen with the Kappelmuhr, the Bosberg, and the Kappelmuhr again. Incredible. Uh, we'll move to France in stage 5 between Sedan and Metz. Stage 6 between Rethel and the Pont à Mousson with a little hill before the end that maybe maybe you could see uh, some leaders try to attack. Uh, an individual time trial in Nancy. First mountain stage, stage 8 between Lunéville and the Mont Saint-Odile. Stage 9 between Limoges and Le Puy de Dôme. That's, that's a tough climb right there. Stage 10 between Villefranche-sur-Saône and Yen with a big ass climb, which is the Mont du Chat before the line. Um, we'll move to Italy for stage 11 between Ponciara and Pragelato. Another mountain stage between Le Monet Liban and Isola 2000. Another mountain stage between Grenoble and Valoir. Then we'll have some flat terrain between Apt and Obera. We'll go back to the, the mountains as we start the Pyrenees between Priva and Genolac. Mountain again between Narbonne and Axe Mountain again between Axle Terme and Guzenej Pramataou, a very tough stage, 4,000 meters of positive gradient in today's stage, which will be even tougher the next morning. Five and a half, uh, wait, sorry, 5,800 meters of positive gradient between saint giron and Luzardiden, as we'll have the Port de Balès, le Col de Persourde, le Col d'Aspin, le Col du Tourmalet, and Luzardiden. We'll move to the stage 19, which is between Valrias and Alpe d'Huez. We've moved to the Alps to finish the Tour de France. Stage 20 is another individual time trial between Lege Cap Ferret and Arcachon next to the sea. Maybe uh, a lot of wind that could end some of the riders. And finally, Argenteuil, Paris Champs Elysees to round up this Tour de France. It's going to be a very, very tough variant. I'm just going to have to fix one stage. Uh, but yeah, the team we are going to go for is that Thibaut Pinot as our leader. Maximilian Schachmann, Filippo Ganna, Alberto Betiol, Alex Lutsenko, Jan Tratnik, and Chun Kaifeng, despite his angina, or angina, sorry, is going to be there with us. I said I was going to bring him, and here he is. And the Tour de France is on the way, and look at this magnificent kit for Mr. Thibaut Pino. Wow, what a beautiful, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, somehow Chun Kafeng is still champion of Taiwan. I don't think there's a, a championship, so he most likely will be ch wearing this jersey until the rest of his life. Uh, Maximilian Schachmann wearing the the jersey of uh, Deutschland on his home turf, actually, as we uh, have left Berlin, the German capital city. All right, who do we have else? Do we have anyone else with the jersey? Uh, yeah, we've got Mar Padden, but we know that we'll soon see the jersey of Filippo Ganna in the time trial tomorrow. Um, but it is a strong team that we've managed to, uh, to bring here. The third stage, by the way, have been fixed. Uh, I won't be able to show you now, but I'll show you that. Uh, actually, well, well, you see the third stage. But yeah, we are on the way for 243 kilometers with the stage ending in Elm, the south of Elm, by the looks of it. A grade, uh, max grade 10% for a three kilometer long climb. We might have a first yellow jersey on our shoulders. Well, we're halfway through the race. We're just going to take a look at who is in the first breakaway of this Tour de France. What are we say in? We're saying Julien Vermeut for Cofidis, Adrien Petit for Ad for um, T direct. Oh. Adrien Petit for Total Direct Energy. Quentin Jauregui for Rachel de la Mondiale. Uh, ooh. German with an A. It could be Alex. Could be. Is it Alex Krieger? Andreas. Andreas Krieger. Brent Buchwalter. Guise van Hoek. And Julien Vermeut. That is the first breakaway of the Tour de France. There's no KOM today. That's why there's no Chunkai thing in the break. Because obviously, well, it is my mission to wear the polka dot jersey with Chunkai thing. And Dylan Tuns achieved what we couldn't do last year with him. 
He is the Belgian champion. Jeez, go on, Dylan. I'm trying to like see if there's any new GC, a uh, new leader. Rene Wegen is not the champion anymore for Movistar. Tom Dumoulin is the uh, new Dutch champion. I don't know what track, what circuit it was to make him champion, but jeez. Uh, Emil Sleepens is the champion of Latvia. I'm pretty sure I saw Eddie Dunbar somewhere on the left-hand side of the screen um, for for uh, Ireland. Uh, these days, you've seen them already. Owen Dole, Owen Dole, which we saw beating us in uh, in the UK, leading uh, the uh, Alpes and Phoenix team. Nice one. Uh, we've got Carapaz over here. I saw Ryan Gibbons. Kudkowski, champion in Poland. Wait, how many champions is there, is there for Ineos? Oh, that team from Ineos is disgustingly good. So they have Bernal, champion of Colombia. Carapaz, champion of Ecuador. Ron Dennis. Eddie Dunbar, champion of Ireland. Chris Froome. Michal Kudkowski, champion of Poland. And then Garen Thomas, plus, Chris, plus Scott Waite. Scott Waite, sorry. This is a horrendous team. My god. I'm shocked that it exists. Who's that pacing? Is that Grigor Mühlberger? Yep, it is. The, the champion of, uh, of Austria, which, um, well, who beat uh, good old Hermann Bensteiner. Uh, is there any other GC, uh, sorry, uh, NCs in this peloton? Nope, there isn't. Quite a, a few national champions, mainly for Ineos and myself. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say West Sagan. The Sagan is there. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. 40 km remaining, the gap with the breakaway is uh, getting trimmed as there's some attacks. Adrien Petit and Quentin Jorgi trying to uh, separate themselves from um, the group behind. The two Frenchies attacking on their home turf. Love that from that. Final 2.6 km. Alberto Betiol has started pacing. We've got Lutsenko in the wheel. Then we were meant to have Schachmann, but Schachmann decided to just go on his own and do whatever pleased him. Uh, so we're going to have Lutsenko. Now increasing the rhythm. Schachmann has actually come back. Good. But Alaphilippe has made a move. One kilometer left. I'm going to use my gel. Otherwise you lot are going to like, attack me in the, once again in the comments. Come on Lutsenko. Big sprint from the Kazakh rider. But the win today is going to be for a German. Maxi Schachmann wins in Germany today. For the first stage of this Tour de France. Ahead of Alexei Lutsenko. Tanya Pogosar. Thibaut Pinot in fourth place. And Egan Bernal coming home in fifth position. It's already 1-2 to start the Tour de France. Fucking get in, lads! Right, we start off this tour quite well. 1, 2, and 4. But it's a German maillot jaune in... Uh, or a German yellow jersey in Germany. I don't know what was the last time we saw that. I think the, the last chance we had was probably like in Dusseldorf. Maybe Marcel Kitzel won it or Degen Kolb, I don't know. But there are already gaps. 34 seconds on the on a big-ass peloton. Okay. We've done well to start off this episode. But now, it's a team time trial. We have an incredible team. Except for Chun Gai Feng. Let's make sure that we can use this team at the best of its qualities. Ineos is going to start the time trial. Which means that in one train, it's going to be us. Leading currently in Hanover is the team Sunweb. 139 ahead of uh, Direct Energy currently running in last place. Okay. Uh, wait. Ghana doesn't have the... The Italian Championship, or Jersey. Is it because it's a team time trial? Because Mark Pardon doesn't have it either. Okay, I don't know, that's weird. That's very weird, uh, but we're going to move everyone to 99. Now, Pino, you can work for... Wait, let me just start this so that I can see the seconds. Thank you. Pino, you can work for 15 seconds. Jan Tratnik, you can work for a solid 18... We'll go 19, actually. Lutsenko, you can work for 20... Let's put all these guys actually 20. Schachmann, you can work for 20. Chun, you can't work. Betiol, you can work for a solid 15. Ghana, you can work 25. And Marpadon, you can work for... How much is Betiol? 15. But Marpadon, you can work for 12. Let's try to go like that. And we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite surprised to not like not to see the, 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 the national kits. Although I'm not seeing any kits. So I'm guessing that they just don't work in ITT? That would be my guess. We're approaching the first intermediate in uh, Rodenberg and we are one second ahead of the team Ineos. That's big. Big, big first half. Right, are we going to have a uh, another good second intermediate in Letta 
will it go like a letter to the post and we are second nine seconds between uh, behind the team Ineos. okay it's fine it's recoverable right it is recoverable we just have to do some some tweaks here and there mark Padden can for example stop pacing um i think that will be good for now and as we approach hanover we're gonna have one more corner we have a lot of energy remaining on some of our, on some of our riders across the line it is second place, six seconds behind the Team Minios. I'd say we've done well. We've limited the damage as much as possible. We're going to keep the yellow jersey for one little second on Mihal Kutkowski. Big up Maxi Schachmann. Uh, I'm guessing that Maxi probably lost like three seconds though. But Thibaut Pinot puts himself in eighth place behind Bernal, Froome, Carapaz and Garin Thomas. Granted. Schachmann lost indeed two seconds. So did Mar Padon. I mean, Padon lost four. Chunkai Feng, despite not pacing at all, lost 6 seconds, love that from you. Uh, but it's a win for Richard Carapaz on this time trial. Uh, up next, that is the stage that we've added. Vervier, Longui, we move to Belgium. Uh, and hopefully, we can make it uh, another win with Maxi Schachmann. Alright, we're on the way for stage number 3 of this Tour de France. Still wearing the, the green and yellow jersey with Lutsenko and Schachmann. However... I really wanted to put Kudot with Shunkai Feng. He has a minus four today. I I don't see how it's going to be feasible for him to like get any point today. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, but with Owen Dole already in the breakaway, I think my hopes are dead. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last day of Shunkai Feng as well on this tour. It is extremely likely that Shunkai Feng withdraws from the race tomorrow. I know. It's, it's sad. It's a sad day. It's not something we, we, we wanted to see. We wanted to see Chun Kaifeng leading the Baron McLaren train on the Champs-Élysées. I, I know, but some things are just bigger than just Chun Kaifeng's dreams. The man is injured. The man feels pain. And it would be just unhuman for any of us to ask him to continue if he cannot execute such a task. So, Chun may Enjoy your 200 kilometers today. Those might be your last on French roads today. Ryan Mullen has taken two points at the first KOM of the day. Chun Kai Feng got, uh, I mean, the peloton came back on him and he's, he has no yellow already. He might, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, he might even withdraw because he's out of the delays before, like, being out because of his injury or his illness. It, it's absolutely, absolutely mental. Right, we've done all the KOMs today and. Uh, I think Ryan Mullen is in the lead. However, if Maximilian Schachmann was to win in Longwy, uh, he would reclaim the pocket of jersey. And mainly, Chun Kai Feng is still in the peloton. That, that is worth a round of applause. Well, lad. Nikita Pschrez dropped. Oh, wow, that was so French. Is dropped uh, alongside Ma um, Maxi Richese, Andre Greipel, and Fager Haug. Uh, and also Gisagiv, Kamel Malake, Guillaume Miasso, and Eddie Finet. He was already on the Giro, and he was already last on the Giro. Like, why are you here? We're going to start pacing 24 kilometers remaining. Uh, 22 actually. And uh, we're going to take the lead of the peloton. Chun Kai Feng is 11 minutes down. Uh, he's in the no man's land. He might get caught by uh, this four-man group. So that's good for him. He's going to have some, uh, some lads to talk with. Uh, a Acceleration from Gregor Mühlberger. Fuck me. Okay. That was so... Not... I mean... Uh, worth. That is... Yeah, it's just weird. Just... Just weird from Mühlberger. Right. Pino has lost some energy. Uh, I think trying to stay within like these guys' wheels is, is quite tough for, for Thibaut. He's not exactly the best in heels, although he does have 78 today. Uh, so we'd be able to, to work with that. 12 kilometers remaining. Okay. I've got Shahman just ahead of Pinot just in case. Uh, like, even if Pinot dies and Shahman still has energy, that'll create like a local gap with the ones that could be fighting for the dub, uh, i.e. Julien Lafilippe. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens. We, we could actually put Ghana in the train behind Thibaut as well to, to do a, a similar effect. But Alberto Betiol currently pacing 90 and he's been pacing uh, 90 for quite a long time. It will be soon up to uh, the uh, former Ukrainian champion, Mark Padden, who lost his title this year to pace. You know what? You might not be Ukrainian champion, mate, but you won the Tour de France. Final four kilometers. 
fighting on four kilometers, we can increase our rhythm to like 99 now, I think. Because there will soon be Alexei Lutsenko stand to pace. We're going to use the gel for all uh, four of these guys. There goes Mark Patton's rhythm. And there goes Alexei Lutsenko. Come on. The green jersey pacing. We've got Pogosar on the left. We've got Kutkowski on the right. Bernal in the middle. Schachmann as well in the middle. We've got Mag uh, Thibaut Pinot in the middle. We've got many people in the middle actually. And Schachmann can easily try to go in for the sprint. Can he take the win today? It's going to be extremely close with Bernal and Alaphilippe. Alaphilippe started too late and it is a second win on this tour for the yellow jersey. Maxi Schachmann wins today in Longwy ahead of Alaphilippe. Egan Bernal, Pulsang Pogosar, Buchmann, Kutkowski, Lutsenko, Warren Vargil, David Formolo, Thibaut Pinot finishing in 13th position. No gaps whatsoever with the likes of Dumoulin and Chiba. Uh, disappointing because there was a little gap here. But uh, yeah, we move. Mm, Charman is debuting this tour in a very, very good way. We're having uh, a Charman like episode like we did on the Ardennes. Uh, first place, nonetheless, for the German. Lutsenko in 8th position. Thibaut in 13th. Uh, no gaps until uh, 104th place. So I don't think anyone has been dropped. And if it is... I mean, Dan Martin lost 2 minutes. That's rather surprising. How much did uh, the man like Chun lost? He finished last. Love that. Michael Matthews withdrew from the race. Oh, that's a huge L for Astana. That's a huge L. I hadn't even seen that. I hadn't even seen that. Hugh Carthy lost 5 minutes. Okay. Matters. Alright, Michael Matthews is out of the race. Uh, we keep the yellow jersey. And we move between Heinsberg and Gerardsberg. And there's some cobbles. Let's see if Thibaut can hold on on these. Stage 4 on the way. Chunka Feng with a minus 2 today. Wow, it's his best day of the tour. Maybe some progress going on. Who knows? Maxi Schachmann already at the front. The yellow jersey. Uh, leading all 3 classifications as of now. Big up Maxi Schachmann. Now... There is something that happened. Thibaut Pinot has triggered his fitness peak. Which means it will last until the end of the race. And that's great. I've, I've done well fitness peak wise with Thibaut. I've done really well. Because even if it lasts 17 days, which is like the minimum for Thibaut, uh, it will, I mean, he'll lose a fitness peak on the Champs-Élysées. So we're good on that side. Philippe Gana can stop pacing. Um... But yeah, so this stage is, is, is quite a crucial one. It, it looks inoffensive, uh, but we are in like the... It, it's like a Ronde. Bosberg, Kappelmuir. I think the Kappelmuir... I don't know where the Kappelmuir is. Is it on the Ronde? No, I don't think it is. I don't know, but it's somewhere, in it? We've got the Tenbosser and the Kappelmuir again, just before the line. It could prove to be quite crucial. Someone like Garin Thomas could genuinely do well, thanks to a, a stage such as this one. Obviously, Jean Philippe, maybe a Wout von Aert uh, with his 84 cobbles. Alberto Betiol, obviously, we'll try to see if we can get the win with him. Uh, but mainly, the aim today is to maintain Thibaut in the leading group. Thibaut, mate, why, why are you there? Why are you there? Oh, shit, you're going to have to come back, mate. Fam, you're lower in the, posi in the peloton than Chun Kai Feng. Okay, that's not good. We, we need to come back right now. Like, like, right now. You know what, Chun, mate? Do you want to be useful for once? See, we'll take the wave of I've Chun. Fucking storm your way through the peloton, lad. I don't give a shit. Right, we're coming back. We need to avoid everyone, including Greg Van Appermatt or Bauke Mollema. Oh, you know what? Chun Kai Feng, mate, you're, you're kind of a beast right now. You're, you're, you're kind of a legend for that. Go on, Chun Kai, mate, love that. Love that from you. Jan Tratnik and Philippe Gunner are in a very bad place, though. I think uh, I put, like, uh, Tratnik on protection on Pinot, and that's probably one of the reasons as to why they're, like, they're completely fucked off. Uh, where's the Kapelmeur? There. Shit. Okay, well, Thibaut, mate, you're at the front of the peloton. That's the, that's the key thing, right? However, don't you dare follow these guys. Don't you dare follow Chunka Feng, because you will lose about a billion position. Alright, let's go. 85, who's pacing? I'm guessing Wout Van Aert. Woo, what a surprise. And Tim Wallens blocked Wout Van Aert, and Tom Scully gets the points at the, um, at the Kappel Mir attack from, from Velens and Van Aert. Oh. Okay, I hadn't exactly seen that coming. 
no, 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 Thibaut mate, just hold on in that climb, alright? I know you're gonna struggle, I'm aware, it's not your 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 specialty, right? You're not a couple guy, but come on, I, I trust you, big man. Come on, make the cut. That right there, that's my boy. Okay, ne nearly my boy. Now it is. There we go. We've got 10 riders. 10 riders, 13 kilometers, and a one faulty gap for uh, Wojt Van Aert, who will take the leading jersey. Final time on the Mur de Gramont, 4 km remaining. Greg Van Avermaet is trying to pull a madness, but he's going to get uh, just co up. Lutsenko had incredible legs today. Uh, I'll give him that. Come on, Thibaut, mate, just hold on. What I'm asking is for you to hold on. Plus, just stay with Schachmann. Who's back with Lutsenko? Van Avermaet, Demar. Okay, we're fine with him. It's it's all good. No, Thibaut, don't, don't you dare drop. Don't you dare drop right now. Thibaut. Thibaut, don't you dare drop right now, I've said. Uh, in the meantime, One Art has won today. Uh, humongous dub, boss man, whatever you want to call it. But that's the main thing today. Thibaut Pino has managed to stay with Garin Thomas and Emmanuel Buchmann. They are, they are, sorry, the only three GC guys to just be at the front. And that's big. That's really, really, really big. I'm proud of you, Thibaut. I'm really proud of you. We're going to put Pugatsar some seconds behind. Same for Froome. Same for like the Ben Alice, the shit like that. We've done well. And here is your new yellow jersey. Wout van Aert leading Alex Lutsenko, Schachmann, Garin Thomas, Thibaut Pinot. We have a 40 second lead on Bernal and on Froome. A one minute on Dumoulin Buchmann. Alright. Stage 7. Uh, stage 5, my bad, sorry. Uh, plus 5 for Lutsenko. Go on, lad. Right, I'm going to tell you right now, this is considered a sprint stage. Ain't no way this finishes in the sprint. Because you can p be sure that from the third category climb, I'm going to pace. Crash, crash in the peloton. Crash in the peloton, Garen Thomas. Garen Thomas and Caleb, you win a down. Matters. I mean, this wind, so I've been pacing for quite a while. I haven't paced because Garen crashed. The only thing I want now is to avoid drinking a Benji and not having water, which is why Chun has been asked to, pay, to like bring water. He did that before the bottles were all blinking. That's incredible. Uh, but I think the Peloton will be able to come back. Well, I mean, the, the Garen Thomas and Caleb Ewan will be able to come back. Good for them. Come on, Chun. You've got this, right? It's in your brain. And also, I mean, mainly your throat, you've got tonsillitis. Tonsillitis? <laughs> Tonsillitis and, and an angina. I know you're, it's not fun, but you're still there. You're holding on because you're a warrior, lad. You're a warrior. We've got one water dropped already. And it's Chun Kai Feng in the first climb. Good. Good. Uh, who's in the breakaway? Peter von Spebroek, Perard, Ryan Gibbons, Kevin Reza just dropped is Gisa Give. But we in the pattern have started pacing with Mark Padden. Um, there's some wind, we, I attempted to like make echelons early on, could not work, um, but yeah, the, the aim wasn't to make, isn't to make echelons, the aim is just to like destroy people uh, and then do a, a, a big end of the race uh, with like the Côte de Noura Le Veneur and the Côte de Pierre Villiers which could prove to be uh, rather tough on the uh, bodies of the sprinters who've just been at a high rhythm for about 100 kilometers now. Crash, crash in the peloton with Warren Barguil and Tom Dumoulin. Oh, that is, that is big. Now that that's big boy news. Uh, Alberto Betiol lost a lot of positions because he had to get water. Prick. You could have gotten water like just I don't know, quicker. That's not good. Uh, but we are in the Côte de Noir Le Veneur, which seemed on paper to be where we could make a gap. So we're gonna try that. Uh, Alberto Betiol is trying to bring water, but mate, you you're like you're finished, right? You're you're done. You're done for. Don't worry. Stay there. 21 riders in this group. We definitely have a gap with this peloton. That's already good. And now Lutsenko is going to pace in the toughest part of the climb. Come on. We have Tratnik just give all his go. 
and Lutsenko to take the relay. Tratnik can go in the wheel of Thibaut Pinot for now. So he can like stay with this group. We have a minute apparently on this group. Uh, I'm not sure how because they literally came back. But I mean it's up to it's, it's PCM in it. It's just what they do. Oh, oh we do have a gap though. We do have a decent gap. Uh, Lutsenko just r reduce your rhythm for a second. We're gonna have a downhill portion, which is where Tratnik needs to get water and come back. Right, don't you dare wait for Christophe Ronnevegen or Feline. Come on, lad. Come on, crash again. Patrick Conrad, Rudy Mollard, Mühlberger, Van Rensburg and Eikhoff. It's fine, we don't give a shit about them. Come on, Jan. That's, that's a big boy move from Jan Tratnik right there. That right there, that's big boy move. Come on, lad. Come on. Alright, there's a group attempting a comeback of five riders. I think Darren Thomas is a, is a part of the group. He is indeed. He is indeed. But I'm not sure he's going to be able to make said comeback. 13 riders. No signs of Alaphilippe as well. Ackerman is still here. Not for long, lad. Not for long. You're not going to win today in Chazel. Or Metz, actually. No, in Chazel. In Chazel. Schachmann with a huge, huge rhythm. Come on, Thibaut, use your gel. Lutsenko, use your gel. Schachmann is not going to get a third win on this Tour de France. But Pino might get his first. Or maybe not, because Bernal has started pace, his sprint m much earlier on. Egan Bernal takes the win today in Chazelle, ahead of Wout van Aert, Thibaut Pinot. Tade Pogacar in fourth place. Or is he going to jump me for third? Nope, third for Pinot, fourth for Pogacar. Lutsenko, Nibali, Schachmann, Burman. And then we've got gaps. Then we've got gaps. We're going to have about 40 seconds already on Garen Thomas. Wow, we've done well. We've done very well today. I won't lie, I fully forgot that Bernal and Vorna... Wait, 5 seconds? Really, you count a gap there? Okay. But, I mean, in that case, we're still 3rd uh, and 4th. Bernal gets slightly closer. Uh, Gary Thomas lost time, that's good for us. Burman lost... Uh, no, didn't lose time. Froome did, but mainly... Where is Tom Dumoulin? He's now 20th, 6.26 behind. This tour is starting to, to go well for our... Come on, one more stage in this episode. I don't. We could do things between Rethel or Rotel actually, and Le Pont à Mousson. Get in. Let's go. Six and final stage of this episode between Rethel and the Pont à Mousson. We've had a very, very solid beginning of this tour. Um, I'm hoping to prevent the sprinters from doing anything today, thanks to this little climb before the end. Uh, but. If that happens, we, we, we're good. If it doesn't, then it's still fine. Uh, the yellow jersey will probably stay on Wout van Aert's shoulders. I don't see how we can catch him right now. Uh, but yeah, compared to like some of the big favorites, we all know that Ineos won't keep their three leaders. So, I mean, I've got some time on at least some of them. Bora, I mean, when a Buchmann never attacks, so it's fine by us. And we've got the same stats as, uh, as the German. Pogotsar, he, he definitely is a threat stats-wise, but he's already two minutes and a half behind us. Um, and the other big threat, which is Tom Dumoulin, is four minutes behind us. So it's it's been a very good start of this Tour de France for us. Uh, let's make sure to keep it that way today with hopefully a third win. Right, there's been a lot of win throughout the entire race. Uh, it's been a tough day for many. For, for many riders, it's been hard, uh, which explains like someone like Chun Kaifeng being five minutes down. He, he's been an actual asset to us today. He, he based a lot and uh, yeah, just bi big day for uh, Fortune. But we're going to start the climb in which things could get slightly uh, s slightly tasty. Shit, I've used the gel with Lutsenko. It's fine. It's all good. We'll, we'll forget that that happened, all right? Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see like what happens there. In the uh, Côte de Mousson, Tratnik is going to finish his job. His job, sorry. Lutsenko, Charman, Pino. Now, obviously, the likes of Caleb Ewan or Ackerman are like the most likely riders to hold on with us. But what if they didn't? What if they did not hold on? Betiol, you're going to try and get the wheel of Thibault. Perfect stuff. Good. Jan Tratnik has had a puncture. It's fine. I don't care. I truly, truly don't give a shit. Alberto, uh, Alberto, sorry, stop pacing. Let everyone pace back. Okay, it's not your job to pace right now. Good. That's exact. See, we're doing bits right now. Right now, we're doing bits. 
because we're going to take the win and hopefully we can take a gap. That's going to be the main aim. The main aim is to get a gap. Betiol, uh, you can just do whatever you wish. And Sharkman is going to start the sprint with Thibaut in the wheel. Now, I could give Thibaut the win, the win because he is the like French champion and shit. Uh, but no, we're going to give it to Sharkman for the green jersey. Betiol is going to lose some time. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that there'll be gaps. Not sure. Wild Van Aert finishing, well, leading the peloton. So if it hadn't been for me, he would have won the stage. Okay. Well, let's hope that there's gaps and that we've actually managed to uh, get rid of some riders. That would be uh, just phenomenal. Oh, last second withdrawal, Bauke Molomer. Oh. Well, that's an L for FDG. And it is a treble to wrap up this episode. No gaps between uh, Schachmann, Pino and the others. Uh, actually, no gaps at all. Really? Really? <laughs> no gaps with Mark Padden? The man was dropped before the climb. Fuck's sake, Leo Vincent out of time, Bauke Molomo withdraws, which means that Chunkai Feng is last today. No gaps with our oh, fam. This is horrendous. Points wise, we're going to reclaim the lead though. Um, okay. Nice one. Ma Ma Maxi Charman did well. Maxi Charman did well. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll fit this race in. We'll fit this time trial between Nancy and Nancy to round up this uh, first episode. Thibaut the fitness week. Schachmann with a fitness peak, Lutsenko with a fitness peak, that's many fitness peaks, and if we combine all of them, that's like a three time fitness peak. Alright, the time's already started, I haven't even seen Shinko I think starting, that's mad. Go on lad, uh, oh you're very well last of the GC, that's probably why. Good, 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 well Shinko I think, again, I've said that him, like, says the stage number three probably was his last. It's not. He's managed to hold on until today. He still has tonsillitis. He still has an angina. He still has a minus four. Um, but he's still the Chunka thing we, we've we learned to love. Uh, however, it's it's likely that he'll lose about 15 minutes today. Or well, actually 15 years. We don't, we don't know. We'll just take a look at the first intermediate. He's going to be first, actually, at the Côte de Butte Saint Geneviève. And isn't that just phenomenal? I, I believe that it is. Look at him. There we go. You can just stop that, screenshot it, and bob your uncle. Um, wait. What? Oh, I thought that was like, I, I thought this was said like I was fourth, 34 seconds down at the first intermediate. But it clearly says I'm 30 seconds down. Um, okay, well, I mean, we're, we're running out of energy. Uh, we're also behind Peter Fagerhaug, uh, knowing that we were 30 seconds ahead of him at the first intermediate. The, the only good thing is, I know for sure, we'll be ahead of Eddie Finney. Uh, and if we can be 9 minutes ahead of him today, uh, we'd overtake him in the GC. Final kilometer and a half for the champion of Taiwan. And Chun Kai Feng is going to clear and to get first position today in Nancy. It's a big time trial. First place for Chun Kai Feng. What a lad, what a time trial, that's it, stop this there, Rat, red flag the race. There we go, Fagerhaug, you're not crossing the line. As long as I don't press on pose, you're not winning. You're winning. Alright, time trial begins for one of the favourites of today, Filippo Ghana. He is by far the best time trialist, however, however, uh, not leading in hills. So we'll see how that goes for him. But we can admire his Italian jersey, similar, same pattern as the French one or the Spanish one. Uh, yeah, just very, very nice kit. Uh, in the meantime, we've got Mar Padden soon to cross the line. We'll see where the uh, Ukrainian rider finishes. We'll go 73 with, with Ghana for now. Mm, actually, no, we'll go 74. Fuck it. Uh, but Mar Padden will most likely run out of energy before the line in Nancy. Uh, we'll just take the final few corners, right hand side, uh, and there we go, final kilometer for Mar Padden. And a cross the line for the Ukrainian rider. It is 14th, two minutes behind the current leader, Richie Port. Okay. But Tauke Gennart might be the one taking the new first position. Yep, nine seconds quicker than his teammate. It is the lead for Tauke Gennart. Final few corners for Filippo Ghana. He was doing well, but I think the fact that there's many hills uh, is kind of like against him. And it's still going to be first place. A big end of the time trial for Filippo Ghana. Jeez. Okay. All right. All right, Filippo. 
Come on, boy. Again, Bernal starts, which means that just behind will be Thibaut Pino. What are we saying for Thibaut? 77 time troll, that's very good. Uh, meanwhile, Kasper Asgren has taken first place in Nancy ahead of Lucas Hamilton and Filippo Ganna. But Thibaut is on a good day today. Come on, mate, this is your day. You've got this, Charman. Charman, you've got this as well. We've got two riders that do have this. That's good. And Lutenko, Lutenko, you've, oh, you've got this as well. Big day at the office for our three leaders. All right. Uh, we've got Tratnik and Betiol soon to cross the line. Uh, both of them uh, are slightly dead. I'm not expecting anyone to be in the top, like, 10. Nope. All right. We've got three riders on track. Pino, Schachmann, Lutsenko. Can we at least get a dub? That'd be good. At the first 20 minutes, it is Garin Thomas leading ahead of Pogosar. No, Bernal, Pogosar, Nibeli, Buchmann. Thibaut Pino is 18 seconds down already. Good. Solid. Final few kilometers for Thibaut Pino. Chris Froome is currently leading in Nancy. But Garin Thomas is going to cross the line right now. So will most likely overtake his teammate. There he goes. A, a minute quicker than Chris Froome. Definitely reassuring. Um, Bernal is going to come home. In what will most likely be second place, just behind. Yep. So it's currently a 1, 2, 3, 4 in Aeos. Good. I'm absolutely petrified. Because I know for a fact that we're going to do bad with Thibaut. We're going to lose at least one minute. Come on. Until the line for Thibaut Pino. 47 seconds. We've we've done decent to like limit the damage. Lutsenko though. Lutsenko have, has energy. Unlike Schachmann, Lutsenko has energy. It's the only rider in my team that will finish this time trial with energy. 99 across the line for Lutsenko. It's third time, 24 seconds down. Um, give me a second. We may have a yellow jersey regarding of what Wout van Aert does here. If it's like 140... Okay, no, it's not. It's still a yellow jersey for it, Vanos. Right, Garen Thomas gets the win. Uh, I do know the fact that there's only two teams in the top five. We've done decent with Thibaut Pino. I think it could have been much worse. Could have been much, much worse. GC wise, Wout Vanos retains the jersey. However, both Thomas and Bernal overtake Thibaut Pino. Okay. But we nearly have three minutes on, like, Nibidi and Fugazar. Alright, that's doable. Easily doable. Ryan Gibbons is still leading this. Points-wise, uh, it is still Maximilian Schachmann in green. Uh, it is still Bernal in white. Uh, and it's still Barry McLaren as the best team. Alright, we finished the central in 3rd, 4th and 12th with Schachmann. Finishing in the time of Tom Dumoulin. It's not a bad time at all for Schachmann. Uh, I think I kind of like used him a bit too much though. Uh, and sadly, just cracked. Uh, Ghana with 67 hills, finishing in a decent 17th position. Last place is Eddie Fine, I think, 167. He's got five riders behind him. Love that from you. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well then. Uh, GC was second, fifth, and sixth as uh, I think we'll start the mountain tomorrow. Or at least the hill, but I think it's mountain. Yeah, it is mountain. So next episode, we'll have mountain, 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 mountain. Okay. Well, get ready for some mountain action because you're going to get plenty of it. But that will be for the next episode of the Bahrain McLaren career mode. Uh, if you have enjoyed this one, then please do leave a like down below. Uh, if you're new on here, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and I shall see you in the very near future, either for Bahrain McLaren or Perito or uh, whatever I upload. Um, if you haven't been aware yet, uh, I have started streaming a few weeks ago. I mainly start streaming Perito on it. Uh, and open lobbies either on PCM or F1 so go follow me on there the link is in the description down below as well uh, but yeah my name has been Lacro it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys and goodbye pull up pull up in the gold I'm leading but I'm all the money feeding I don't want to go bombi them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop them out with a duster put him in a drip and sip blockbuster